Hansel Autumn's first solo Denver exhibition is going on right now at K Contemporary and owner Doug Casena took us into Solanum's mind and into his immersive experience. Well, you'll want to explore before it's too late. Hey, Doug, it's so awesome to have you here on the show. Hey, you have to tell us about Hans Slonim's work and his significance as an artist. Some of his stuff is amazing. Well, we're so honored to have him here in Denver for his first solo here in uh, town. Um, his work is now in the permanent collection of over 250 museums worldwide. So just in New York, he's in the Whitney and the Guggenheim and the Met. Uh, you might have seen his work on as many different things as like, I, I, I believe he's even been on uh, the Real Housewives of Manhattan has done a studio tour of his 35,000 square foot studio in Brooklyn, New York. Wow, okay, so obviously a pretty big deal here. Now, Curiouser and Curiouser is Hunt's first solo exhibition here in Denver. What can people expect when coming to see this show? Um, well, we wanted to make it a really immersive experience. So Hunt himself is a collector of historic homes. His studio, as I mentioned, is 35,000 square feet in Brooklyn, New York. When you walk into his studio, the front of it's basically an arboretum where he has trees and plants. There's a 14 foot long table that's stacked four deep with beaver top hats. Uh, when you go back to where he paints, he has about 35 parrots in cages that actually fly around freely throughout his studio. And it's mixed in with antiques and art that he collects um, as part of this world that he's created for himself. Um, as I mentioned, he's into historic preservation. So in these historic homes that he has, he has period furniture uh, and then uh, accompanied with his own work and people that he kind of came up with in the 80s, like uh, Andy Warhol and Keith Haring's work. So the, the way that we curated this show, which was with the fabulous Jonathan Size, um, was really an homage to how this world that Hunt has created for himself. Wow, well, it sounds like something that so many people would be so interested in. I know I'm already really excited to check this out. You did mention, too, you curated the exhibit, you said, in partnership with Jonathan Sai. So tell us about that partnership and then how you guys approached this joint curation. Well, you know, Jonathan, I think, was the the perfect partner for this. He's an artist that I represent here at the gallery. And our last exhibition with him uh, was a two solos concurrent. One was at the Denver Art Museum. As some of your viewers may remember, he had 10,000 little two inch by two inch paintings that created a column that was uh, 10 feet in diameter and eight feet tall. It was called What is Utopia at the Denver Art Museum. We ended up giving away all 10,000 of those pieces. At the same time, we had an exhibition here that was uh, kind of a little dystopian. So the utopian one was at the Denver Art Museum and the dystopian one was here. It was called Colorado Coastal and it was a thousand paintings of waves that created a giant wave in the center of the gallery. Uh, Jonathan uh, is a bit of a maximalist himself with his aesthetic where he takes objects and groups them. And he, he is just a brilliant, brilliant artist for this. Um, exhibition. He just went really over the top. We have vinyl on the windows. We have on both stories of the gallery. Jonathan hand painted furniture that's included in this exhibition. Um, even the the wall uh, label for the with Hunt's uh, name was a hand painted kind of Delft pottery uh, piece by Jonathan. We also partnered with uh, Shaver Ramsey Rugs, who loaned us $50,000 worth of rugs for this exhibition, and Aaron Johnson Antiques that uh, brought in, uh, you know, all of these wonderful antiques that just really make this uh, show sing. Well, you guys have put in so much work into this. This is just so incredible. I want to wrap things up too, Doug, by asking, you know, obviously we want to talk about the importance of something like this. Why do you think it is important to share Hunt's work with the Denver community in particular? <laughs> Well, you know, part of our goals here at the gallery are really to work synergistically with our community and with our other partners, uh, the art partners throughout the city. Um, so one of my goals is to not only elevate, you know, our artists here in Denver and bring them to a national and international stage, but to bring really important contemporary art from around the world to Denver. And an artist like Hunt, uh, to be able to have him here in our community uh, for an exhibition like this is really how we create cultural community here in Denver. 
Well, you know what, Doug, we're so excited to check out this exhibition. This sounds incredible. I'm sure so many people at home are just itching to get a, get a sneak peek. So uh, we really appreciate you being here on the show and talking us through what goes into it. Well, thank you. What an honor. And I'm so glad to be presenting this work here. And thank you for having me. Visit internationally renowned artist Hans Lanham's first solo exhibition in Denver, Curiouser and Curiouser at K Contemporary before the show closes, and that's on November the 6th. Learn more at kcontemporaryart.com.